Hjärtligt välkomna till Svenska Akademin. Svenska Akademin har just haft sammankomst och fattat beslut om vem som ska tilldelas årets Nobelpris i litteratur. Nobelspriset i litteratur år 2017 går till den engelska författaren Kazuo Ishiguro som i romaner med stark känslomässig verkan har blottat avgrunden under vår skenbara hemhörighet i världen. The Nobel Prize in Literature 2017 is awarded to the English writer Kazuo Ishiguro, who in novels of great emotional force has uncovered the abyss beneath our illusory sense of connection with the world. Le Prix Nobel de Littérature 2017 est décerné à l'écrivain Kazuo Ishiguro qui, par des romans d'une puissante force émotionnelle, a révélé l'abîme sous notre illusoire sentiment de confort dans le monde. Der Nobelpreis für Literatur des Jahres 2017 wird an den englischen Schriftsteller Kazuo Ishiguro verliehen der in Romanen von starker emotionalen Wirkung den Abgrund unter unserer vermeintlichen Verbundenheit mit der Welt bloßgelegt hat. Tack.
I would say that if you mix Jane Austen and Franz Kafka, then you have uh, Katsuvo Ishiguro in a nutshell. But you have to add a little bit of Marcel Proust uh, into the mix. And then you stir, but not too much. Um, and then you have his writings. At the same time, he's a writer of great integrity. He doesn't look to the side. He's developed an aesthetic universe all his own. And he is someone who has ventured into a lot of different genres, um, and he's perhaps most known for the remains of the day. Mm -hmm. But if you would choose one favorite all of, out of all of his books, which one would it be? I think all his books are wonderful. They're really, truly exquisite. Um, I would say that my favorite is The Buried Giant, uh, was published in two years, 2017. I also love The Remains of the Day. I think it's a masterpiece. It's a true masterpiece where he mixes comedy of manners with, well, it starts out as a P.G. Woodhouse novel and ends uh, as something Kafkaesque, I would say. And that novel, as you said, was published only last year. Does it matter to the Academy that this is a living writership that is continuing to grow and develop? Well, the Swedish Academy awards the prize for a body of work. And of course, it has to be more or less current, but that's um, a word that you can use in all kinds of different ways. Mm. Uh, and of course, this is a British writer, and there has been criticism in the past of you awarding European writers mm -hmm. and not looking to other countries. But at the same time, Kazuo Ishiguro, of course, has one leg in the Japanese culture and has written about other parts of the world. How do you, in the Swedish Academy, work to not miss the writers that are in other parts of the world than Europe? How do you? Well, we um, have a wonderful library. We have wonderful people around us. Um, we're always on the lookout for uh, new and interesting writers. And we speak quite a few languages among ourselves. And of course, there are many languages that we do not speak. But then we can always ask people to write us a detailed report about that particular writer. Uh, and we do that all the time. And Kazuo Ishiguro, of course, is a writer with a lot of pathos. And do you think he has something to say to a world that is uh, a bit troubled at the moment? Um, 
Well, he is someone who's very interested in understanding the past, but he's not a Proustian writer. He's not out to redeem the past. He's exploring what you have to forget in order to survive in the first place, as an individual or as a society. And uh, for a final question, um, how do you hope that the world will receive this uh, choice that you made this year? We hope it will make the world happy. <laughs> Yeah. Not so controversial this year, perhaps? But that's not for me to judge. <laughs> no. We've just chosen what we think is an absolutely brilliant novelist. Thank you. Thank you. Mm -hmm.